Hi everybody and welcome to the Halls Life presentation. My name is Sophie Barakai and I am the Student Engagement Officer here within the Halls Life team. So what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about right now is how we in the Halls Life team work to ensure that all of our students that live with us have the best possible time. It's really important to us that we build a strong community in all seven of our halls of residence. Um, and we do this by trying to ensure that all students feel included um, and that they all feel as though their well-being is being catered to. So that's their, both their physical and their mental well-being. As you can see, with Hall's Life, it's all about making sure our students feel that it's your hall and that it's your community. And that's what the essence of everything that we do um, is making sure that you have the best possible time and feel supported whilst you're with us. So what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about is actually what we do and how you can get involved as well. So in terms of what we do, we split this into two main areas, events and activities and engagement. So with engagement, this is ultimately all of the online stuff that we're doing. So we have the at Live Uni Halls Instagram account and at Live Uni Halls Facebook page. And this is where we'll share loads of information about what's going on in halls and um, how you can get involved, pictures from events and all of that type of thing. As well as this, every hall has its own individual Facebook group that we'd really encourage you to join as soon as you kind of know which hall you're going to be in. So that's official um, Vine Court or official Green Bank, official Crown Place. And if you go on and request to join those groups, we'll let you come in and that's where you can see all of the information about kind of preparing to actually move to halls. So things like what to pack, mentally preparing as well, so kind of getting yourself ready, um, what to kind of do on the actual day of arriving, loads of advice that we'll share with you on those Facebook groups. Perhaps most excitingly though, when you actually know what your room is going to be in your accommodation, this is where all of our students will come to kind of find who their flatmates are. So on the day that you find out what your room is, you can go onto your official Vine Court uh, Facebook group, for example, um, and there you will see that everyone is posting, this is my flat, this is my flat, and you can actually get to meet your flatmates before you arrive. So that is super exciting, but also takes away a little bit of the nerves when you actually arrive because you've already got to know each other a little bit, which is great. The last thing that we do in terms of online engagement is our Halls Life website. We'll share that with you at the end of the presentation, but that is basically your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about halls, whether it's um, specific like policies, um, things to do, what to do if you lock yourself out, uh, all the way through to things if you're feeling lonely or you're struggling with a specific recipe and um, you want to know a bit of guidance of what to do with your money, you're worried about exams, all of that is covered on our Halls Life website uh, and that's literally updated every single week. So we always try and make sure that we're reacting to, to what students are going through at different times of year as well. So in terms of the events and activities that we run in the Halls Life team, this is really the big focus of um, a lot of the work that we do. With Welcome Week, as you can imagine, Liverpool is more than prepared to welcome uh, students. There's loads and loads going on all over the city, pretty much all year round. Um, so from a Halls perspective, with Welcome Week, we'll make sure that we promote to you all of the stuff that's going on in the city and in the university as well. In addition to that, we'll run events for our Hall students. So whether they're welcome barbecues for the whole accommodation or perhaps slightly smaller events just for you and your flat. We'll make sure that you get plenty of opportunity to meet those that you live with and from the wider halls community. As well as that, their welcome week is also about making you, helping you, sorry, settle in to your new home. So um, within halls, we'd also do some kind of quieter events, maybe like pizza nights, movie nights, so that you can go out and explore and get to know everything. But you also have an opportunity to kind of take a step back and have a bit of a breather as well. Um, so, you know, halls, it is your home. So we'll provide a bit of that too during Welcome Week. The first big events then are our Halls Formals and every hall will have one of these formals. As you can see, everyone gets really dressed up um, and they're kind of the first opportunity for everyone to come together and celebrate being here, being part of this Halls community. Um, our wardens and our residential advisors will normally attend these events and they're usually um, some sort of meal, followed by lots of dancing. Uh, we've had live music in the past and um, we also have kind of entertainment and stuff like that. 
And with the formals, they are really that kind of big start for the year to say to you, you know, you are a resident of our accommodation. We're really pleased to have you um, and give you a chance to kind of get to meet everyone else as well. So they are the traditional start to the year, the halls formals. Obviously this year, maybe that we've got um, some limitations on what we can do. However, what we will make sure is that you are made to feel as though you are part of our massive halls community. Um, and perhaps we can't as immediately do these large scale events, but we will make sure that you get opportunities to, to come together, whether it's online or later in the year, um, and still feel as though, as though you, know, you are part of um, our big halls family. Give It A Go is a really popular initiative. Um, so Give It A Go is ran in conjunction with the Guild and it's basically what it says on the tin. It's an opportunity for students to give something new a go, um, try something they may not have tried already. Uh, and really that's what university is all about um, is you know trying new things and meeting new people. With Give It A Go, we run a whole exclusive programme. So this is trips and events that are just for students in our accommodation. And these are usually free or heavily discounted. So you can see some examples on the screen of what we've done previously, things like paintballing, Chester Zoo, uh, we've had club size classes as well. And we, we are really keen to get these trips up and running um, as soon as we can in the academic year. They're a great opportunity to meet people and also just to kind of get you outside of your comfort zone as well. With Give It A Go, we do also run, um, as it says, events. So they will be usually in the halls and that could be things like um, making some sustainable wrapping paper for Christmas or um, you know other decorations for Halloween or whatever it may be we do like pumpkin carving and stuff like that uh, and and again it's just about kind of getting involved and, and trying something that you may not have done before. There's lots of other opportunities throughout the year that are organized by the Halls Life team. Obviously for a lot of our students, this is their first year at university. And so the first exams that are usually um, around the end of, uh, end of your first semester um, will really give you plenty of support with kind of preparing for those, um, whether it's physical, like literal revision space in the accommodation, or just making sure that you get some advice and guidance online from us. Um, we also have something previously got in uh, therapy dogs from a local charity. They come and help the students to de-stress around exam time. Wellbeing week is when we will um, do a really big push on making sure our students are getting the opportunity to relax. And you can see some pictures on there of them getting their nails done and uh, doing some coloring in and stuff like that. Something that we run continuously um, is like movie nights, pizza nights, that type of thing. Just lots of little opportunities for you to get together um, and get to know those from the accommodation. With Find a Flatmate, this is traditionally um, kind of like second semester. And ultimately what we want to make sure is that all of our students at the end of their year in the halls, where if you want to stay with us, great. If you want to stay in the student accommodation, however, if you want to move out and move into the wider community, We'll make sure that we offer talks and workshops um, and online support to make sure that everyone has someone to live with if that's what they want to do um, and also know is really kind of clued up on what to be looking for when you go out and view um, private accommodation in the wider community so that's quite a bit of work that we do with our students as well now um, it's really important that we stress this because we are really keen to get our students as involved as we can with the whole Hall's life team and experience. One of the main ways we do this is through the HSC, which stands for the Hall Student Committee. So every hall has a HSC and anyone can join. Um, as long as you live in that accommodation, you can be a member of the HSC. Now for the HSCs, a lot of what they do is organise kind of events and activities for students. But another big part of what they do is represent students. So if the students in a specific hall have a concern or something that they want for that accommodation, then they can go to the HSC and the HSC can in turn come to the university um, and kind of make things happen. The HSC has its own budget that it can spend, as I say, on events, or um, it could be that they actually just want to give things out to students, for example, Melville Grove last year around exam time made sure all students had uh, clear pencil cases and all the equipment they needed for their exams. So it will vary from, from each HSC, but ultimately they're there to represent students. Um, it's, it's really important that you get involved in this as well, particularly if you are passionate about um, representing students and 
you know, organizing events, all of that type of thing. And you'll be given a lot more information on how you can do this when you actually arrive with us. We also employ students, so we employ accommodation ambassadors. Um, and if you have visited the university previously um, and looked around, then it may be that you've been shown around by one of these accommodation ambassadors. Um, and they basically live in our halls and can just show students around as and when they're needed to. We also employ residential advisors. So if you aren't aware already, um, these are staff or students that live in the accommodation to support the st other students that live there. To, for doing this, they get reduced rent, so they pay, pay slightly cheaper rent, um, and they are fully trained as well to ensure that they are capable of looking after students, supporting them with um, any kind of issues that they have, but they are also there for things like if you lock yourself out or um, you know, if, there's, if it's too noisy and you don't want to go and complain personally, the RA can do that for you. So it's, it's a really varied role. Again, if you wanted to know more about residential, being a residential advisor, um, the information for that is on the accommodation website that I'll share at the end. A big part of what we do in halls is around sustainability. Um, so we work really closely with the Green Guild to ensure that our halls are as sustainable as possible. As well as that, we do run some events, so things like swap shops where people can bring their unwanted clothes or books and swap them with other students. And a really big campaign that we do is Leave Liverpool Tidy. So that's at the end of term. And um, if you've got any food that you don't want, then you can come and donate that. And then that gets redistributed to charities around Liverpool. Um, likewise, there's, with the Green Guild, we do this with the British Heart Foundation, if you wanted to donate any clothes as well. So throughout the year, anything like that, you'll be made aware of through um, your social media, or we also send out weekly emails to all students to let you know what's going on, and we'll make you aware of that then. We also work quite closely, quite closely with Sport Liverpool. So we do this through um, arranging tournaments, so like a campus hall tournament or uh, a tournament out of Green Bank as well. Um, and the idea behind this is that sport is really crucial to bringing people together. Um, so it really helps us to build community. It gets us to, you know, get out and about and encourage others to do the same. So we do work quite closely with Sport Liverpool as well. And again, information about that will be shared with you once you are here. So I already mentioned at the start that at Live Uni Halls is our social media accounts. And um, if you wanted to go onto the liverpool.ac.uk forward slash accommodation, that's where you can find out a little bit more about kind of the um, practical side of living in halls. However, if you did want to know a bit more about halls life, if you went onto either of those social media pages, um, then you could link through to our halls life website as well. And that's where you can see the stuff I've previously mentioned around kind of support and events and all of that type of thing. Thank you very, very much for listening and we hope to see you soon.